subscribe to my youtube channel and click on this bell icon to get all the latest videos hello guys welcome to my channel so in the previous part i talked about how to work with the detail of each products you get each products by its id using use params okay from axios.get with particular id information that you want in this part i'm going to talk about how to work with update component in react and how the routing works with it so before that make sure your uh, zamp is running properly and your Django backend is running properly okay as you can see the Django is working now we need to go to the particular ID suppose ID of 1 it will give us a particular ID information and the form is already filled with this data so similar way we're gonna do the update functionality with react go to the react application and go to the app.js file here I have the route setup if we go to the slash id slash update here if we go to the in the react application it will go to the particular id slash update it will render update page okay this page so before that in this we have to configure the show detail page because we already created the show detail page in the previous video we need to link it up with this button okay and we have the route setup for the update as you can see and the product detail is also nearly same it's slash id it will go to the particular product detail page and if you go to the slash id slash update it will go to the update product page okay and the update product we have the simple h1 tag. now what we need to go we need to do the product detail page and as you can see this is the product detail information that we have and we so for that we need to so as you can see we have all the show detail button it will it should go to the show detail page of each product okay so we need to configure that link as well so we need to go to the show products page and here okay in the div we have all the information rendered then we need to set a link and import that link and that link is coming from the react router dom okay and it has a class name which is btn btn dash primary suppose okay and this okay we need that link here mm, in the button section okay just copy this thing and paste it inside a card okay and it will link to this property is so important and it will dynamically route to that particular product that we, that we have through the url suppose if we go to slash one it will go to that particular page okay so how can we do that we need to get this particular product id that we already have it here in the map products dot map it will go to the individual product and it will render all this information and we already have the product id here because each product have its own id as you can see every product has its id so if we go to there and go to dynamic url go to template string we need to go to the slash and dollar sign we go to slash and dollar sign and here we will write product dot id okay we are going to the slash product id slash and if we go there okay if we go to this route if we go to the app.js as you can see slash product id slash it will go to the product detail page okay you need to configure that as well and if you go to the show product page it will go to the particular product id okay particular for slash particular product id slash it will go to the detail page okay go there it has a link and now we need to have a name let me add a ending as well so in the link we need to say uh, detail okay we'll go to the detail page this is the name of this link and it has a class name of button primary it will go to the particular student slash its id okay if you go to detail it will go to the party it will go to this url slash its id okay if we go to this it has an id of 4 it will give us this detail information okay so every product will do the work so the iphone as also it is doing the work but we didn't implement the update and delete which i'm going to do now keep in touch with us and in the this is the part five that we're working on in the part six we'll finish it up so here we're gonna learn uh, the axios.put method okay we'll get the particular product that we want to update and send the form data the, uh, the information that we pass to that particular id of the project of the product that we want to update 
okay and then we'll use the use history to get to the root directory after the operation update operation is done so to update we need to have an id and the information that we want to pass so first we need to update the information so for update we need to have a state and it's already same as add product almost same you just copy all of those things you can copy this thing and go to the update page paste it here and you need to import use state and use effect okay and also you need to import const history is equals to use history and this is coming from react router also we need to have the id of particular product that we want to update so for that we need to use use params and this will collect all the information using the particular id of the product like per, uh, product slash id okay we will catch all this id using use params hooks this is very important and we're going to set all this information in this state as well okay so first we need to get all the information by its id first we need to write const load all of our products okay load all of our products and it should be an asynchronous function because it will use the api to load all the information and here we're gonna write const response okay is equals to await axios to press enter it will uh, import the axios library and it will use axios.get method and here you will use dynamic routing and you need to go to the api okay just copy this api and instead of this id what you're gonna do you will use the id that is coming from the url okay that that id of this url because that product we want to update and we need to get all the information of that particular id of the product that the uh, url parameter has like id of one or two or three however it is it is dynamic url we want to get all the information by this id using axios.get and then we're gonna console.log logout that response dot data you can also write like this way like you're gonna destructure all this data and you can log this data okay from this api and you can see this information when we call the use effect okay here you use the arrow function and we'll call it only once time and we will load the products we're gonna load the products by particular id slash id slash okay if you save it and go update page okay go to that update okay if you inspect go to console okay as you can see you have this you know, option to update the particular it is a category smartphone this is iphone which is id of one and if you go to the id of two okay it will be like the laptop okay information all of the information coming through a particular id and we need to import all those information which is coming through api into a form pre-filled like this okay so we need to use forms and set all of this information using set state okay so in this state we need to set all this information from the data and data has all the information like if you console.log data dot name okay if you see that now it has the name of the particular product of this id so we can get all this information properly now we need to use set image we are image now uh, we are setting data dot image because data has a property called image we get the image from this api okay and set it to image okay same thing we're gonna do for everything set name it will be data dot name and set price it will be data dot price and set description it will be data dot description and then we have set category it would be data dot category image name price description category we set all the information in the set state 
and now we can access those image name price description category in the form and see all those value that we have put there okay now we need to have a form it would be add product it is similar to this so we can copy this div okay we can copy the whole div of form group in the update product and update product has a function of update product info okay and it is update when i click on this button it will update the product okay this is very simple we get all the information this is the value of the category that we put in the form and this is the pre-filled so the, all the values will work perfectly values of the description that we have set here we set all the name image price description from the api to our state and we can access name image api all of those things in our input tag as a value okay so we got that as well for the image it is a little bit of different we need to just get the image upload an image before that image and image as a source we want to see what image we uploaded so it should be image okay and it has a height of um, 300 and width of 150 okay we want to see the particular image then we will upload an image okay again and send this information to the database using put method okay first we need to see what we have uploaded update product information const update product information and it will be an arrow function and it will have an alert update okay now it will work now as you can see this is the information that we put okay in the this url id slash update we want to see all the information that we put before we imported these images okay and we have this information which is pre-filled in the form and this value this description this thing category so we need to update this information from here okay May, don't worry the ui will look much more better when we update this okay in the last part i'll update all this ui i'll change everything so that it looks really good but for now we need to just check the image first okay this is the image and then we have the option to select this particular image using e.target.files it will select only one image okay and you can have the information as a image name price all of those thing here now if you want to update it you can update it but you need to work with this function when you click on this update product it will update the product information so for that you need to work with another thing work with form data so this is the function that will update our products okay so this is a, it should be an asynchronous function okay and it will first let form field is equals to new form data form data okay because we want to get all those information like name image all of those things from the form and want to send it using put method as a request all of this form information okay so we need to write form field dot append first we need to append the name okay and the name is collected from using e dot target dot value we get the information from the field okay or this field and we can post those information now we can copy this thing and at actually you can copy this thing from here this is the same thing again copy this thing form dot form field dot append the name price description category all of those things that we got from here okay nice now we need to await and write axios 
press enter and write all those two things like the method method should be put put method and the particular URL URL should be the URL we use from the product detail page this URL we want using the template string okay template string the particular ID okay the put request always have particular ID that we want to update okay and then the third parameter we need to post the data so which data we need to post this form field data okay and then with response then response and it will show all the response in a console dot log response dot data okay and then we write we need to redirect using history dot push to the root directory after the product is updated properly okay it will go to the root directory so that's why you need to import that hooks history using to use history and it is coming from react routers and id using the dynamic url that we want to get of each product using use parents so that's why we are able to get the particular id from that url okay and get all the information from this api so this is super important for update for every update operation in node.js in react.js in any back-end front-end library the update method is almost same you need to um, pass all those information as a pre-filled in your form as you can see so for that that's why you need to get all this information in a set the information in a variable in a state okay this is super important so after you update you need the method should be put and the particular url that you want to update the particular id and the information that you want to post like its name price description all of those things images and then into after this complete it will go to the root directory so it's done properly so when you click on this update it will update info. you need to update it and write update this should be 799 this is updated this is laptop okay so let me so give it a tv suppose as you can see it's updated and this is simple and easy if you go to the detail okay it will go to the particular information detail and render all this information by its id its name price description category if you want to update it it will go to the particular okay update information update component like here in the detail page if you go to the detail page when i click on this update it will go to the slash product id slash update and it will render this update component okay okay it will render this update component and pre-filled with this information if you select this information like this gaming laptop okay okay now if you uh, delete all of those thing delete all of those thing updated nice it's updated again okay so everything working really fine and easy and simple so update functionality is done thanks for watching i will be coming out with the next video